Kansas basketball has landed another transfer portal commitment. The Jayhawks have pulled in the number three player in the 24-7 sports transfer portal rankings in Wisconsin wing A.J. Store. He committed to Kansas on Thursday afternoon, picking KU over programs like Illinois, Arkansas under John Calipari. He had a lot of big schools after him, but KU is able to pull him in in the end, and Kansas is getting a big-time player. Look, he averaged over 16 points per game, led Wisconsin in scoring last season in the Big Ten. He is an outright scorer, and when you look at the highlight tapes from his last season at Wisconsin, you can really see that. He's the type of guy that you just roll the ball out, and he'll find a way to score the basketball. And that's a huge addition for KU because you look at some of the other players they've gotten, right? Zeke Mayo, Riley Kugel, they are players that can get their own shots. And, and really, AJ Store continues to add to that. Now, in terms of the percentages, look, last year he shot 43% from the field, not super sexy, but you look at the numbers a little closer, right? 48% from two point range on almost 10 attempts per game last year. And then the three-point percentage dipped down from his freshman season at St. John's, where he began his college career. As a freshman, he shot 40% from three on just under three attempts per game. And then last year, Wisconsin, his percentages dropped down to 32% while shooting over four attempts per game. So if KU can reel him in, which I think is totally reasonable to expect, considering the fact that you look at some of the other players Kansas has, like the whole entire burden of an offense is not going to be put on AJ store next year, right? There's Hunter Dickinson. There's Zeke Mayo. There's Dewan Harris and KJ Adams. There's Riley Kugel. KU can still go out and add another transfer if they need to. So there's going to be plenty of options. And I think store will benefit from being a part of the offense, but look, this is the type of addition that's just huge for Kansas. And you look at the broader roster construction right now, and it's looking a lot closer, I think, to what we saw KU have during 2022 when they won the national title. You have a point guard, right? The same guy in Dewan Harris, but then you have a bunch of interchangeable parts. You think about kind of two and three and maybe a little bit of four with guys like Zeke Mayo, Riley Kugel, obviously El Marco Jackson. Um, KU still in the market for another probably wing that can play there as well. And then you add in someone like KJ Adams, who's going to be at the four and store fits in in kind of that three, four spot where he can play the three. But when KJ Adams needs to rest, Kansas can also play him at the four. And I believe in those minutes, you're going to see Kansas go four out around Hunter Dickinson, space it out, try and get him as many touches as he can without having a bunch of guys around him and think about how much that can help. And obviously we saw David McCormick have success during that title season, having other wings like Jalen Wilson, Ochai Abaji, Christian Brown all around him. And so Hunter Dickinson theoretically can benefit a lot from a player like AJ Store joining the team. And it's a total two-way street here as well. Right. AJ Store is not going to have everything on him. Right. He's not going to be the number one guy on scouting reports next year. That will continue to be Hunter Dickinson because we know how Bill Self plays. He's going to play through Hunter Dickinson. He's going to get plenty of post touches, but there's going to be plenty of time for other guys to be able to feed. So, look, there's no two ways about this. Kansas basketball's offseason is much different than last year's offseason. These are bona fide, um, legit guys that Kansas is getting with high major production. That is such a huge thing in college basketball transfer recruiting. You look at the guys that have had a lot of success at Kansas as transfers. I think about Kevin McCuller, right? He was a high major transfer from Texas Tech, had a lot of success at Tech, had success at Kansas. Remy Martin, Pac-12 player of the year, one of the best players in the Pac-12, had success at Kansas. Obviously, his season was hindered by injury. And look, that's exactly the same type of player that AJ store has potential to be right. An impact player for Kansas because he has been around, he knows how to do it. And it's just going to be out getting all these pieces to pieces to fit in at once. And that's going to be the big key of this summer, which genuinely could be one of the more competitive summers we've seen on Kansas campus in a long time. Think about top to bottom right now. You look at the guys that are supposed to be back and obviously there are the three transfer additions. I mentioned there are freshmen coming in, but look Dewan Harris, KJ Adams, Right, you got El Marco Jackson who is on track to return right now. He's going to want to fight for more minutes, but he's going to have to go out and beat Zeke Mayo, who averaged over 15 points, I believe over 18 points per game at South Dakota State last year. Right, Riley Kugel, someone that was on NBA draft board. So you look at this roster and the way it's shaping out, the talent level on it is so elite, and it's going to be about making the pieces fit. And that's when Bill Self's coaching staff is going to have to do their work. But they have done the work on the recruiting trail, and look. I'll tell you this, there's still more to come. And 
I'd suggest you sign up for VIP. We got a 50% off sale going on right now. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you if you want to check that out. Um, lots going on with Kansas basketball recruiting. Uh, it's a busy time, but look for AJ Store for this Kansas team. This is a really good fit, and it's going to be about trying to make all these pieces now work together cohesively. Um, but look, pure talent wise, like Kansas had a huge addition today with, with AJ Store. So make sure you're staying tuned to Fog.net. I got all sorts of Kansas coverage for you. Um, football portals open too. Lots going on in there. Basketball portals open. Um, plenty of going on. So making sure you are checking the website every day. Plenty of content coming your way. And make sure you're signing up for VIP as well. 50% off sale. Um, last just a couple more days. So make sure you take advantage of that. Make sure you're staying in the loop with all things Kansas basketball at fog.net. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Um, plenty more coming over the next week. So we'll talk to you later.